What's up guys? I'm Golf Girl 505. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Now, I am not a golf professional. I am just a bartender with a crazy obsession for this game. I love golf, and I'm on a mission to play every golf course in my beautiful home state of New Mexico. And I want to share my journey with you. And look, because I'm a bartender, we're going to be finding a 19th hole on every episode. I want to share with the world why we call it the land of enchantment. Without further ado, let's get started. The one thing I'm going to tell you guys about this place, if you've never played here before, you're going to want to bring extra balls because guaranteed you're going to be losing all your balls out there. It's crazy. Oh my gosh, you guys. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Ordinarily, I'm waking up in the morning and I'm watching the sunrise come up over these majestic Sandia Mountains that, that surround our city here in Burke, here in Albuquerque. Uh, today, I got to have the sun rising right above us, man. This was beautiful out here. Hands down, this was an epic day of golf. Today is an exciting day. I'm out here at Paco Ridge Golf Course, New Mexico's like premier golf course. I mean, this is an epic, epic course, you guys. Um, it's definitely not golfing on a budget though. Mm. Uh, but we're gonna have a really fun day today. It's an exciting day. I've got a special guest. Finally have someone to play golf with me. Holy crap, she smashed it. I had no idea what I was up against. This is Darian Zacek, soon to be LPGA pro. She is a UNM Lobo alum, so she played for the UNM golf team. Yep. Um, I'm gonna try to play a three hole challenge against this amazing golfer. And I'm gonna show you guys this epic, amazing golf course, Paco Ridge golf course, you guys. Number one bucket list golf course when you come to New Mexico. This is a spot and this is the perfect time of year to play. September, October, fall golf is, in my opinion, the best golf out here. Kind of topped my shot there. That's okay though. I'm in a good spot. I'm on the fairway. Darian's still way the heck up there. There's no way you could have a bad day of golf out here. It's just gorgeous. All right, let's see. I still got well over 200 yards to get that. So try this trusty three wood. Wow, what an awesome swing. Holy crap, this kid, she was splitting fairways all day long, hitting just about every greens and regulation. Wow, what an awesome swing she's got. I don't think I'm going to be winning this three-hole challenge. Still have about like 35 yards or so. A little bit of a hill to get over. Hope I don't skull it like a dum-dum. Oh, jeez. I did exactly what I was trying not to do. <laughs> All right, let's check out these sand traps. <laughs> oh! There's a down slope and then it goes down into the desert. So I need to lay up a little bit just to make sure I have a nice clear shot to the green. Nice. So that's some good course management. Yeah. Definitely good. out here. It's important to know this course. Good. So I'll give you some tips. Oh, sweet. Hey, 
Wow. <laughs> Straight at it. Get in there. Are you kidding me? Wow. That was a nice shot. That is incredible. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I lost my ball. I couldn't find my ball. Then I found a ball that I thought was my ball. It was really weirded out. Like I didn't remember going this way, but oh well. I hit I hit the wrong ball. Um, that just happens sometimes. I told you guys, you're gonna lose your balls out here. I only lost five balls today though, so I I did pretty good considering. Stop, ball. Stop. Man, these greens are crazy. You pay for double. practice with high pressure so that when I go to the tournament it's like normal you know yeah um, I, I think that's probably the most important is so when, when I'm preparing for a tournament I try and prepare like I'm actually gonna play yeah um, and that helps with the stress that's and cool. I think everybody always has first tee nerves yeah no matter first you know, whole jitters yep definitely definitely so you just have to get used to playing with nerves yeah I was so nervous out here. Like, I don't think I've been that nervous playing golf before, but I was trying to keep it cool and collected. And you know what? Her vibe was just cool and collected. So it, it actually helped calm my nerves a little bit, which was really, really nice. Wow. Smashed it. Bryson DeChambeau, you got some competition coming your way, man. Solid. Hey. Thanks. Good one. Thanks. Oh, too much to the left. Whoop. Nice. Thanks. That was solid. Hey. That one felt pretty good. Cool. Did what I needed to do. Just get back on the fairway. Oh, yeah. Right in the middle. Try to learn my course management. Oh, oh, I think you're on. Think if not, you're on the fringe with that. Gosh, yeah. that was right at it. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> nice bird for the birdie. Woo All right, well, that was the three hole challenge out here at Paco. We're just going to enjoy the rest of our round of golf out here, and I'll get you guys some footage. Um, Darian Zachek, everybody. Keep an eye out for her, you guys. Follow her on Instagram, at Darian Ray on Instagram. And keep an eye out for this one. She's going to be a champ. Local champ. Hopefully, so, LPGA. You'll see me on TV soon. Yes. Maybe. I will put money on this girl, man. She was just going to get out there and spank everybody. Wow. Wow. Absolutely amazing. I am going to be trying to emulate her style of play probably for the rest of my life. Like, holy crap, I want to be like you when I grow up. 
What's your lowest score you've ever had? Uh, 65. Wow. 65? Yeah. Dang. That's awesome. That's in my like daydreams. <laughs> I'm, I'm striving to just continuously break 100 and hopefully one day break 90. <laughs> oh yeah, you'll definitely get there. I have a slight uh, erectophobia. <gasps> oh, I do too. Well, you guys, check this out. That is a real tarantula, just kicking it. Oh my God. <laughs> Telling y'all, you never know what kind of wildlife you're gonna see out on the golf course, you guys. Wow. I have never seen a real life tarantula. Yeah, a little bit. Huh? Mulligan? You want a breakfast ball? I might want one. Yeah, take a breakfast ball. I won't say nothing. Boom. Wow. She's really good. Yeah, I, I, that was good. I think you're on. Okay. Alright, so Darian, um, tell us real quick about the journey to pro, the journey to, to the LPGA. What, what all does that entail? What's, what's that like? Uh, yeah, so there's, so there's LPGA and then there's this metro tour right below. And so there's, so you go to Q school and there's three different stages. And so stage one is in is in August and you play, it's a four day tournament and then there's a cut. If you make the cut and then you move up to a certain percentage of the field, which is about 330 players, um, then you get to move on to stage two and then same thing for stage two. And then there's, and so those two tournaments are for the Symmetra Tour. If you make it past the second stage, there's this thing called the Q series and that's where you qualify for the LPGA. Wow. And that one is in Pinehurst in North Carolina. Okay. And it's eight rounds in 11 days. Wow. Yeah. I can't imagine playing eight rounds in 11 yeah. days. So there's that's two a... different cuts and then you have to move up uh, after the second cut and then and then you're on the LPGA. So, wow. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, so it's a long process, but you Where are you in that process? I played Q school right after I graduated. So okay. the August following uh, graduation and I, didn't, I played okay but so I have conditional status on the Symmetra tour so that means I'm pretty much like on the waiting list of most tournaments okay um, and since it got canceled this year I have to wait until August 2021 to try and oh, another play year. again oh yeah. wow so I'll take it as a positive just practice yeah just more practice play out here figure out what to yeah. work on and yeah, so that's that's where I'm at. I'll, I'll get to play a couple tournaments, and then there's some mini tours like out in Texas and Arizona, and then just do that in the meantime. Wow, that's fun. Yeah. All right, I'll be rooting for you. Wow. Right Boom! Bloop! Closest to pin there. Hey, all right. This is the only hole that I did well on and I still fumbled, but I had a greens in regulation and closest to the pin. What, what? I'll take it. When you're up against an athlete like this, I will take that closest to the pin. Chance. And I failed my par oh, chance. That's what that was in. That didn't even count. That's so fun. much. Thank yeah, you so much for awesome. playing with me and talking to my viewers and stuff. Everybody at home, Darian Zachek, you guys. Uh, hey, anybody out there want to be a sponsor for a soon to be pro tour player? Uh, check her out. Hit her up in the DMs. Um, just a few fun little questions. So, you're New Mexico, red or green? Red. Red? I like red. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm a Christmas girl. I've told Christmas. you guys before. I like, I like both. I like the red and the green. And um, what would be just your advice for anybody out there wanting to get into golf? Like, like what's something you wish somebody would have told you like 
starting off and like getting to this level, what's, what's some advice you could, you could tell people out there? Um, I would say if you're just starting out and you're trying to play just for fun with your buddies, to not take it too seriously and get at least one lesson so you just have the basics down um, and just try and have fun. Play, play for your handicap, play the up tees, make it fun for yourself. And if you're trying to be competitive, um, always have confidence in yourself. That's the most important. Nice. Confidence in every shot. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's where I screw up. I think I, I overthink it. It's and hard. I, I chicken out or, you know, yeah. Confidence being yeah. a, what is that word? Like trust your shot. Yeah, for sure. Exactly. Yeah. Well, man, I had so much fun playing with you today. Yeah, it was Thank awesome. you again. Um, hopefully, we can play again sometime. Yeah, this let's was do a it. lot of fun. She has to get to work now, so you won't be able to join us for some secret shots. Maybe. No. You can sneak me out there. I'll sneak you out there. I'll, I'll sneak you one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so thank All you right. again, well, Darian. Thank you. It was thanks, so nice guys. to meet you, and thanks yeah. for being on the channel. And and she kicked my butt, you guys. Like this is <laughs> this is the difference, man. Fun weekend golfer pro right here. So. <laughs> How adorable is she? Are you kidding me? How adorable. But don't let her sweetness fool you. You guys, she is a beast. A beast out on the course. Like, that's why I want to nickname her Dangerous Darian. Hashtag Dangerous Darian. She is dangerous. She's going to just swoop in and win some championships. No one's going to know what to expect because they're going to be like, what? This girl, she's so little and cute and all, like, nice and stuff. Nah, hell nah, dude. This girl can just smash the club. Boom. And then Dangerous, she's going to come out of nowhere swooping in sinking birdies look at this man this girl look i can't even explain what it was like playing with somebody of this caliber i've never played with somebody so good at golf in my life sorry to all my other golf homies out there all my friends that i play with yeah y'all suck compared to this girl i'm gonna hit you up i'm gonna hit you up for a side hustle darian let's go hustle some fools out there on the golf course dangerous darian Hailing from Deming, New Mexico, down there by Hatch, where the green chili comes from. That's why her swing is so hot. What an athlete. I can't wait to see her on tour. Welcome to the Golf Homie fam. Um, all you golf homies out there, I love you guys. Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing. Paco Ridge Golf Course, put it on your bucket list. Are you kidding me? Epic, epic day of golf, man. Golf at its peak. This is... New Mexico's premier golf course and it's definitely number one golf course in New Mexico for a reason. Wow, I wish I would have had it in me to play the whole 27 holes. Um, it does feature 27 holes. 18 was about all I could handle at this course. You want to be a guest on the show? You want to play some golf with me? Let me know, dude. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go get it. All right, guys, I am definitely ready for the 19th hole. All right, guys, what's up? We are back at O'Neill's at my work for the 19th hole. What an awesome round of golf we had at Paco. What a treat Darian Zacek is, you guys, once again, man. That kid, she's on her way to becoming a pro. So if any of you want to be her sponsor, you like, let's get her through Q school. Um, so the nickname dangerous Darian so we're gonna make this dangerous drink because it's sweet and nice like she is it was dangerous because it's gonna catch up on you uh, so today we're gonna be making a fun variation of a gin fizz we're gonna be using this awesome gunpowder gin out of Ireland it's an Irish gin it's really delicious super smooth lots of fun botanicals so let's get going we're also gonna be using um, a local simple syrup a lavender simple syrup usually I like making my own simple syrups but Los Poblanos is a dope, dope farm here in Albuquerque. They got some really good lavender stuff. So we're going to be playing around with their lavender. All right, let's get to it. What are we going to do? We're going to do about an ounce and a half to two ounces of gin. And these lavender simples, they're pretty sweet. They go a long way. So you don't really need too, too much of them. You don't want your drink getting too sweet. So just under about a half ounce of simple syrup. We're gonna get about a half of a lemon here. Do a fun little lemon squeeze in there. Woo, yeah, get that lemon in there, nice and juicy. And we've got this uh, pea butterfly extract here. So we're gonna put a dash of that in. 
just to add some fun little color to this. So it gives it a fun little purple floral color. You got our little coop glass chill in here, some ice in it. You can chill them however you want. And I forgot we're also using this uh, violet liqueur, just a little dash of that. Again, just a little dash for color. You don't want this getting too sweet. Now the crazy thing, ooh, we're gonna get crazy. I'm gonna do an egg white. Just wanna, just gonna get that froth, y'all. Just do a little egg white in there. Yeah, that should be nice and frothy. Oh yeah, nice and purple. A little bit of that floral flavor, you guys. You let that egg foam foam up on the top there. And we take your pea flour. And we just make a fun little, try to make a fun little design here. Make a little lavender design. Sometimes we'll have fresh flowers garnish with a little fresh flower, but there you go, it the dangerous Starian lavender gin fizz. All right, guys. So I had a bunch of bogeys out there. So this one is for my golf homies out in Cali. You guys know them, the Bogey Brothers. This is a drink I'm gonna make for them. Um, I need something with a little bit more heat. So we're gonna be using this Slain Irish whiskey. We're gonna be using some fresh mint from our garden out here. And uh, we're gonna make this thing called the Slain Smash, but it's for the Bogey Brothers, so it's gonna be the Bogey Brothers Smash. This is a drink for these guys. Ooh, that was a rough round. So we're gonna just take some mint sprigs. We're gonna muddle those up real quick, get your fun time muddler, and get all those oils opening up. This is kind of a variation of like, almost like a mint julep. Um, just put out some citrus in there. With Irish whiskey, so this is a really fun Irish whiskey. Triple casks is good on its own. So we just get a little bartender pour right there. That's a three count. And you get about a half ounce of just some regular simple syrup. It's also really good with the ginger simple syrup, but we're going nice and easy today because that round of golf really hurt us, kicked our butts. All right, and just about a half a lemon squeeze. Squeeze it on in there. shaking up and we want to strain all that mint out you don't want all those little mint pieces floating around in your cocktail that's not fun oh yeah man this is refreshing and it has a little kick we do a little uh, mint garnish here maybe a lemon twist let's do a little lemon twist on that twist it up all right, I'll give this one a quick little taste. I'm at work right now. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be doing this. Shh, don't tell my bosses, all right? Oh yeah, that. You guys know what's good. Try it for yourself. Let me know what you think. As always, you guys, happy golfing. Drink responsibly. Hit those comments. Let me know what you think. Try these drinks out for yourself. The Slain Smash, AKA the Bogey Brothers Smash from my homies out in Cali, the Bogey Brothers. This one's for you guys. Um, hit that like, hit that comment, subscribe. What kind of cocktails do you guys like? I'll make anything, let me know, I'll make it for you. Just hit me up, put them, put them down in the comments. Anyway, we'll see you guys next time, be safe, bye.